If you're at all compelled about the longevity and expansion of the Miz T Show, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Links below. Hey there, fools. Big T here, and I'm back with another video. And I just want to say, what the hell is the debate about? There's a debate about <laughs> Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. There's a debate going on, which I don't understand. First of all, I didn't realize the game was so popular to have such strong feelings about the game. Uh, basically, everybody most likely knows what's going on here. Uh, there is somewhat of a debate about whether or not a game that nobody has played yet, outside of some people at certain events, uh, a mini game collection type of, you know, indie game with Travis Touchdown in it, uh, and some elements from Travis Touchdown games, uh, No More Heroes. Uh, there's a debate whether or not that is already better than the two games that we've gotten. And I just, I, <laughs> I don't understand this stuff. I, I feel like I'm in the damn Twilight Zone sometimes with this stuff. Now look, I'm a fan of No More Heroes, those, uh, you know, cult classic Wii games. Uh, they're, they're not, you know, great games necessarily. Uh, neither one of them, you know. These are Suda51 games. And Suda51, if you don't know, most of these games are all, well, all of his games are all about style, you know? It's all about over-the-top, crazy Suda51 scenarios and uh, characters and situations, uh, you know, and that's what they're about. That's kind of what Suda51 is. Nobody claims that Suda51 is the greatest gameplay creator or anything like that. He just has this really cool style that I like. I like quirky, just craziness, over-the-top stuff sometimes and he usually delivers on that stuff so you know I, again you got to think about the era back when those games came out um there, there there isn't still but there wasn't a whole lot of stuff that was anything like it and on the wii especially and this is a mature title that came out on the wii so some people just gravitated to it for that but also the style of suda 51 games and you know, it, there's nobody said that the combat in No More Heroes uh, 1 or 2 was like this deep combat progression system or anything like that. Nobody's ever said that. They are just stylish, cool games with a, a stylish, cool character in them. And uh, that is where my fandom for the games comes from. And that's it. I don't think they're great games in history. They're not my favorite games of all time. Anything like that. They're just fun, stylish games. And so when I say, when I look at, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, Travis Strikes Again, No More Heroes. I look at that. I'm like, well, you're taking, you're mostly taking away what made <laughs> No More Heroes games fun or cool or different. And it was the style of Travis Touchdown and the style of the gameplay. It wasn't so much the gameplay itself, but the style of it. You know, there was, there was a, what do you call it? Um... There was there was a niche things that were happening in those games that were um, that gravitated people to the game, the gameplay, and you know the whole shaking the katana or shaking your Wii remote to charge a katana and the whole the style of how he sat on the toilet and you know <laughs> and to save his game. There's nothing special about that stuff, but that is just you know Travis touchdown things, like. But that alone isn't what makes those games fun. It's a combination of all these things. It's not. Oh, he has a beam sword. Great. Uh, oh, his name is Travis Touchdown. Awesome. Oh, he uh, he sits on the toilet to save his game. It's not just that, those things singularly. It's a combination of things in the world that this was created by this. The whole assassins thing and how he wants to be the greatest assassin. So he takes out all these guys. That's all a part of what makes uh, No More Heroes a fun, cool game. And... From what we've seen, unless somebody else has some um, some more information or some different gameplay, from what we've seen, you know, we're just looking at hacky slashy, you know, run down a corridor, you know, straight in a straight line type of games, and no more heroes. The games were more than that, you know. Um, it's not just about the camera angle; it's about the fact that you're just running down a corridor, slashing at enemies that seem to be pretty. 
you know, standard run of the mill. And as, again, there's nothing over, or there's nothing overly compelling about the enemies in No More Heroes, but it's, it's the style of the combat that was cool. You know, the, the semi slow motion pause where you can do like, you know, special blade moves, cutting people's heads off. And yes, the angle of the camera also helped to bring you into that. If you're looking at it from some over the top, you know, back away, kind of far out camera, you're not gonna be as engaged and involved in the combat. You're just running and hacky slashy. So based on that, based on what made me um, a fan of No More Heroes, I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna buy it. Like this is, it seemed like fun enough games, but it's, there's nothing, they're not better than what the No More Hero games offered. Um, and again, I say again, No More Hero games aren't like, <laughs> they weren't like game of the year games or anything, but what they had is what they had. And just naming, you know, the main character that, you know, making him look like, you know, obviously look, he's Travis Touchdown, uh, this iteration of him. But the visual style of the game doesn't move me. And like I said, obviously the camera being so far away from the action doesn't help, uh, doesn't move me. And I don't think this game is M rated or anything like that. Cause you know, part the violence of the game was also a part of what made No More Hero games cool. Like the, the over the top kind of Tarantino-esque violence, uh, Robert Rodriguez Tarantino-esque violence that you would get. Uh, the blood squirting everywhere. All that stuff is part of the character of the game. Not just the character Travis Touchdown, but the character of the game. And you take all that out, and yes, the guy is still named Travis Touchdown. Yes, he has a, a beam sword, and he sits on the toilet to save, I guess. That stuff is still there. But that, you know, that's not enough. You, you, need, the, you need the overarching parts put together. So obviously this is a debate... Um, maybe started with my tweet about um from what we've seen from gdc um i can't if you've played the games again they're not the greatest games of all time but if you played no more hero games and you think that um travis strikes again is showing anything better than that and i think that's just crazy i'm not saying that it's bad but I think people hear what they want to hear. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that the game is bad. I'm just saying that it's not encompassing enough No More Heroes for me to be overly excited about it. Am I going to get it? 80, 90% probably yes. Um, it's a No More Heroes game um, to some degree. It's Travis Touchdown. And I like indie games. So, you know, that's like it's a it's a likely purchase for me. It looks like it's fun enough for me to, for a side distract, a distraction or whatever. But, and I never expected this to be, that's part of my tweet as well. I never expected this to be um, No More Heroes 3. We we heard from Suda51 that this wasn't right from the beginning, basically. Um, he said, you know, it's a spinoff, but he said it's not quite a spinoff, but it looks like a spinoff to me. There, there's more stuff in it for No More Heroes, but again, it's not like, that core world building you know that you know all the elements together again all the quirky elements together um that for me uh gravitated me towards the normal heroes games so uh, obviously i made the tweet and you know some people agreed or disagreed um that i believe that's what sparked retro death uh, my other brother <laughs> my brother from france from another mother and my other brother oj uh, they kind of had a little tit for tat about it. And they get really heated. And, uh, you know, I get heated up. No, I won't say heated. But they get uh, passionate when they talk about video games, which I like. I like to see people passionately talking about video games and keeping it about video games. Um, so it sparked that. And, I, you know, I stand by what I'm saying. Like, I've played both of those games thoroughly. Um, I've beaten them both a few times. I couldn't tell you how many exactly, but... I beat him. I played him and beat him enough to know what I like about him, and I'm not seeing enough of that in Travis Strikes Again. Um, so I, I just don't understand what the debate is about. I feel like I feel like, and maybe I'll cover this in more in another video, but I feel like it's 
it's switch it's not i don't want to say itis but it's 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 a switch condition like it's like well this game is on switch and it seems like anything that's similar to other games on other nintendo consoles that have come out before this is automatically better even though we have we have no like solid information on it like i think that's kind of strange because i feel like that happened with a lot of the wii u ports it's like oh these games are automatically better uh, because they run slightly better um, so that means that the previous versions were trash <laughs> like, like it's just like the no yeah, the, the previous versions of these games were trash it didn't matter it doesn't matter that the games were great when they came out this, you know it's it's this retroactive like um, uh, I guess what do you call it uh, there's a retroactive dissing of games that nobody seemed to have a problem with when they came out on the Wii U but now that they're on the Switch or games like them are on the Switch those games weren't that great to begin with <laughs> like I'm hearing No More Heroes fans saying well there was nothing special about No More Heroes to be well then why do you even care about this game that's even less special I just think that's strange to me and um, to quote uh, Terminated Juice <laughs> he said basically um, it, it's just a spinoff of a cult hit, which is true. Um, why is it getting so much attention and debates? <laughs> that is a good question. I don't know. Like, I think I should be able to say, and everybody has, is allowed to their opinion about it, but I just think it's strange. This game, what's so special? Uh, what's so, why should we get into debates about this game or these games? Like, you know, Suda 51 like I said, he's he always makes these quirky, weird, crazy, wacky games, and that is the draw of him. It's not the gameplay or anything. The draw is the over-the-top nature of him. And you know, Travis strikes again. Travis uh, Tra Travis touchdown. I should say, he is a character that is a fun character that is a that has a certain kind of draw to him, and that's why I like the No More Heroes games to begin with. And you know, when you take from what I see. This game is a watered down version of No More Heroes. And, you know, I'm going to be less excited about that. Like that, that and there's no way um, this game, to me, is going to be better or make me, you know, I'm going to say make me forget about uh, No More Heroes games. But I don't, just don't feel like there's no, I'm seeing nothing that's making them better than No More Heroes, you know, so... I don't think I think it's some uh, there's something in this in this the switch water <laughs> that's making people say these things. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I don't understand um, what you know what the big deal is. I, the game the game it looks like a um, corridor um, hacky slashy spinoff of No More Heroes. I'm fine with that, and I don't know why people just can't deal with that. I, I, I don't get it. Maybe you can help me understand it. Again, I'm more than likely, 9 out of 10, 90% going to buy this game um, based on the fact that, you know, it's Travis Touchdown and there will be some, you know, Suda 51 quirk in there. But I just, I don't understand wh why people don't see that this is what it is. But anyway, convince me in the comments below if you can. i like to hear your thoughts. Uh... Let me know what I'm missing. Because, <laughs> um, I, I don't feel like that's a bad thing to say that it's not going to be as good as No More Heroes. And I, from what I see, I could be surprised. But you put the game out. You're putting a new game out, especially a game like No More Heroes um, in the no, no More Heroes world, and you're not going to put your best foot forward or your 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 best gameplay forward. You're going to put together some side things and then oh yeah there's this actual there's actually more meat to this game why would you do that why wouldn't you want to put those first gameplay clips be the best stuff you want to make the best first impression um not that this impression was bad but i'm saying if there was something more meatier than what we saw why haven't we seen it already why wouldn't that be the first thing we see so i don't know so i'm not holding out hope for anything uh, gra uh, groundbreaking or earth shattering when it comes to this game I'm just not so let me know in the comments below what you think thank you as always for watching and listening and now see you fools next time
Peace out.